Hey, what's up guys? So good news. This is finally going to start happening. My excavator is supposed to be here this week. The weather's finally shifted in our favor. I just had my buddy Cole, my son, help me come out and we just laid out. You see a corner, well, back there somewhere. I got my four corners laid out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually trying to figure out where my driveway is going to go. I'm trying to get this all laid out, but what I need to do is I need to get my laser out and check elevation because I want to see how much of a drop. I know I'm continually dropping back to the back of this property from the entrance. And that's okay as long as I grade the dirt properly, make sure that my building is high enough. This is a very important thing that I've learned over the years. Do not put your building close to the ground when you build it. Build it up. You can always bring backfill in. You can always make the ground around it come up to it and look good, but you don't want water working its way towards your building. You want it to shed away from it. So I'm gonna check my elevation, get my laser set up, and just see about what we're dealing with. Cause I haven't done this yet and this kind of scares me just a little bit. So flipping you around here, this is a corner. There's a corner down there. I've got a corner right here and then way over here. So you're gonna come in the driveway up here and pull into a door. What I've got is an 18 foot door. I thought about going bigger, but it just doesn't fit the design of my building. But basically in front of the truck here is gonna be a door. And then that's how you'll pull into the building. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, this is nowhere near as big as the shop that you have or had before, the red building. And that's true, but I think this is gonna be a lot more usable space and I'm gonna be smarter about how I utilize it. So, um, all right, let's get this laser set up. See what my elevation is. Cause this back corner over here, it's definitely low. All right, unfortunately I do not have my rotary laser. So we're gonna use the 180, which typically I use for layout. But something I probably never really shared before is that it also has a horizontal line in case you're doing this sort of work. So we're gonna to try to set this up. So we're just gonna start with a random point here. And I'm gonna get a measurement. So 35 and an eighth. That'll be our control point. Just to get an idea, I'm gonna go down to the other end See where I'm at, 35 and an eighth. Okay, 37 and an eighth. So that's two inches lower, middle's four inches higher. That's not too bad. It's the back that I'm really worried about. I'm pretty sure this is the lowest point right here. So 53 and three quarters. You know, that's not as bad as I thought. It's less than two foot of fall. So that only means two foot of backfill right here. That ain't too bad. I wonder what this corner is. Let's, I'm gonna get something to write that down. About 45 and a half. Now the point of all this is I'm just trying to get a good feel for where I want the top of floor to be. That's something I need to determine for my concrete guy. And that's all gonna be based upon A, the elevation here because I don't want water to run down this hill over here and come into my building. But also it's a fine line because I don't wanna go too high because then it pushes the back of the building out of the ground as well, which means more, more fill, more gravel. But I do want to make sure that I can maintain some good watershed coming off this where my drive's going to be. So that's what I'm going to check next. All right, now that I've got all my four corners of not only the, the building site, but also kind of where my parking lot's going to be, the gravel drive, I can get a good feel for what the elevation is and how to adjust for that and to figure out where my uh, floor is going to be. So. Let's figure that out. All right, so I went around and I got my points. So these are all the numbers of elevation. And that's just kind of, it doesn't make a ton of sense. It doesn't matter a ton because these are all just the measurement from the ground to the laser that I had set up. All right, so I got a fresh drawing here and let me explain to you what I'm gonna do. So this corner right here is my highest corner of the building. These corners out here are definitely higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna plan on bringing this corner up a foot out of the ground. So I can always bring grade and come up to it so that in a, in a sense, I can build some form of a bowl. Now, from here to here, this will only be a six inch difference. So on 40 feet, I've got to create a swale or I got to come out a little bit further out here and kind of create a nice level area with a little bit of a way for water to shed. And I got plenty of room for that. So that seems to be my best case. So what I'm going to do is Consider this my zero point, which is a plus 12. This is gonna be 12 inches out of the ground, which means when I come to this end, this is gonna be plus 
14 because this had a two inch difference. This was two inches lower than this end, okay? And then back here, this is where it gets probably the most interesting. This corner is actually going to be 30 inches out of the ground where it is as it stands. Now that's not too big of a deal. This will all get filled in and I can slope it away. I'm not too worried about that. That works just fine for me. And then way over here, this is gonna be plus 22. So now what I need to do is I need to, I need to locate and put in a pin in the ground somewhere on a rod so that my excavator and my concrete guy know where I've determined my finished floor height. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I've got this rod here, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go turn my laser back on, and I'm gonna get my laser mark, and also measure the distance down, which I know because I was, you know, down there, my laser was 37 inches or whatever, 35 inches up. I can subtract the 22 inches, which is the difference between 12 inches up and my laser mark. And I, my goal is to get a mark on this rod right where my top of wall is gonna be. All right, this is gonna be much easier. So now what I've done is I've mounted my receiver at the point where when I run this alongside my pole and I start to, well, right there. Okay, right there, hitting my laser, take my marker, and I'm just gonna mark this right here. I'm gonna write grade top of wall. So not really grade, but it is top of wall. So that's what I put right there. Now, when the excavator shows up, he knows that he needs to get the footing depth from this point. So top of wall minus wall and footing height, that's the bottom of his um, trench that he's gonna dig. And then when the concrete guy shows up, he knows that that's what he's trying to hit with the top of his forms or the top of his wall. And we can all be on the same page. So I'm just curious. I just wanna see how far out of the ground it is on that back corner. But this, I won't move, this will stay here. All right, right about there. So that's top of wall. That, that's really not too bad, to be honest. By the time I do backfill, I mean, that'll slope real nice and gentle. I like that. I like being up out of the ground. That's, that's way better than being in the ground where water is going to collect. So, um, all right, I think that's, I think that's, that was my goal. So I got word my excavator is gonna be showing up tomorrow, and that means starting on the footing walls. About time, I'm super excited, and oh my gosh, check this out, dude. So we're here, this is the area that I ran the mulcher, I did all that clearing, and last weekend I threw down some grass seed, because I thought, man, I don't wanna have to walk through this mud all the time, and even though I still have some work to do here, I just wanted to lay it down and check this out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the grass seed is coming up. Not everywhere, but definitely where the sun, definitely where the sun is um, more prominent. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. Just about a week and we got some grass growing. So that's good, or just over a week. So I'm gonna go, uh, go ahead and try to remove the sod where the site is. That way tomorrow, we just gotta start digging footings and I can utilize the excavator for what they're good at. Uh, hauling rock for the driveway, stuff like that. Let's get the Kubota warmed up, start moving some sod around. Okay, we'll let that warm up for a second. So the biggest problem that I have on this site is where all these trees were and where the stumps are. I'm gonna have the excavator pull those out so I've marked them all, but I'm, I. I can only really remove the sod around the stumps. The stumps will have to stay till he gets in here with the bigger machinery because the Kubota, it's not gonna pull them out. It's not even worth my time. It could probably do it with a lot of work, but with that excavator, he'll just he'll just grab that stuff and, and he'll be out of there. So, um, okay, let's strip some sod, eh? 